Welcome to the Soda Club. I am your leader, Grace Soda Can. Ah, the Wii U. Either you heard of it, or... I didn't have a Wii growing up, but I did have its hated sibling, the Wii U. I loved having it. It was my first home console, and let me tell you, it was fun. I only had about 7 games on the system, but it still satisfied 9 year old me. What are these 7 games? Well, I'm gonna be rating them. Now imagine Wii Sports, but with more gamepad. That's basically Wii Sports Club. In the baseball game, you can use the gamepad to catch the baseball. And in golf, you can see your golf ball? Whoa! <laughs> I remember being good at the baseball game, and because I thought I was good, I thought I would be good in real life. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> My sister was really good at the boxing game, too. Yeah. Yeah. How? She did this. Left! Jab! Hook! Hopper! Copper! My Wii remotes broke, too, because of battery leakage, so... <laughs> that sucks. I didn't really play this that much as a kid. 4 5. Now imagine Wii Party, but with more gamepad. That's basically Wii Party U. It takes advantage of the gamepad in cool ways. There's a TV party mode in the game that revolves around the thing, and I didn't really play much of it. What I did play with my sister a lot are Highway Rollers and Me Fashion Plaza. I remember shaking the heck out of the Wii Remote whenever I rolled them dice in Highway Rollers and looking like a fashionista in Me Fashion Plaza. By far my favorite party game and I wish it somehow gets on the Switch. It's a Super Mario game on the Wii U, what do you expect? It's a very fun game and I was only able to complete it last year in quarantine. Which sparked something that was able to get a Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and a Switch. I don't really have much to say about the game. You use the gamepad as a little boost using blocks. Which I guess is pretty cool. I don't know. I didn't really play it as much as we party you. Disney Infinity is a sandbox game full of Disney. Sometimes you can get playsets where you have to complete a story and some missions based on the character you're playing as. Now, I love this game. I love creating worlds and decorating them with stuff I bought from the vault or in playsets I completed. I had a lot of Disney characters to play as and I don't know where they are now. Well, I had these characters. Yeah, it's very cool. I love playing it, and I have very cool memories from it. Great. Now just clear out the rest of this junk, and we'll be ready to start. I loved the Just Dance trilogy. Actually, I still love it. I don't know if it's because I just love dancing in general, but I gotta say that I'm pretty good at it. I would watch Just Dance gameplays on YouTube as a kid, so when I was able to have my hands on a real Just Dance game, I went bonkers. I played them like I was in a dance competition. What's even better is that they had One Direction songs. Yeah, One Direction. There was also a feature where you could record yourself dancing and I really took advantage of it. It's very embarrassing. These games made me a sweaty, happy kid. And finally, the last game I owned on the Wii U. Minecraft. I got it as a Christmas gift and was so grateful to finally have my hands on it. Problem? My sister couldn't play with me at the time because we didn't have the required controller. 
So, naturally, we both use our money to buy one. After that, I would play Minecraft on the Wii U with my cousins and friends. Only two players though. Other than that, Minecraft is Minecraft and therefore it's a good game that played a big role in my childhood. And those are my Wii U games. The Wii U wasn't... It wasn't really... The Wii U wasn't really a success, but... It had some charm to it. For me, at least. Now, if you would excuse me... I'm gonna pray I get that DS-like metallic rose console that I've been yapping about for months. Goodbye.